Yo, Visante here, and I just got this game, Sword Art Online Integral Factor. And at this character screen, ooh, looks like there's a lot of options here. Um, I need to turn on my sound to see what kind of voice I want to do. Link start! Link start! Link start! Hmm. Link start! Link start! Oh, wait. Alright, five sounds good. Alright, I guess it's time to turn off back the sound. <laughs> a lot of different options for hair. Um, it's gonna go with my hairstyle? Yes, my hairstyle, right here. Uh, let's go to the face. Hmm. Alright, this one looks good. I don't need no tattoo, forget that. Bare face, baby face. And I'm a little darker on the side and size small. Let's go for it. Enter my name. And bam! Nope, failed. Alright. Take me back to the loading screen, the start screen. Do it again. One thing I want to mention there's a lot of loading screens in this game. Just want to throw that out there. Here's the movement, uh, joystick on the left, actions on the right, and that's the basics of that. You get a partner. Let's name name it at, name it after my partner. April. Alright. Apparently here I heard that uh, the actions that you pick could dictate the, the story, it could twist it around. Um, so, yeah, you change the story pick on your action and what you pick and what you say. So, let's move forward here. Here's normal attacks. Um, I guess you can hold it for continuous attacks. Alright, um, let's try to skip this. Hmm. Wait, I can't not skip. Jesus. Alright, whatever then. Let's just skip ahead. In this video as well. All right, um, I think we're now in the real game, not the beta at first. Um, Cross Klein. If you guys haven't seen the anime, it's decent, so you guys should just check it out. Um, I kind of liked it. RPG styles. Mm. Um, yep, so let's just skip ahead on head here. So I gotta look for my partner, and here's the basic controls for cam the camera. You just swipe left and right, change around, up and down, pinch to zoom in, and opposite of pinch to zoom out. The partner is here in the middle of the plaza. And let's skip ahead here too. Quest progression, uh, the mini map, which is on the top right, you can click on it to expand. The first quest is apparently out here. All right, apparently Kirito has taught us some new skills, and of course, when he taught me, he taught he just you know just tip windows. So SP is the basics for you know, casting, and there's the dash button that on the bottom that also apparently uses SP. Switching. So apparently, is, I think it's like switching and then your partner attacks when you hit that mark. So you lose your switching, you switch maps. I mean, the bar resets. Right, apparently, killing all the monsters will teleport in another map. Hey, look, loading screen. Uh, assuming there's gonna be a cutscene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, quick changes, uh, so it seems like I have two weapon sets with their specific skills And it seems like it takes a while for it to come out uh, Let's try it out It takes a while for you to switch eh, understandable, otherwise it's a bit Alright, so I'm teleporting another map Here it seems like the going skill records Seem to be skills and records based on characters. 
divided uh, into red and blue. And yep, only work for specific uh, weapons. So let's just finish this quest and see how what's next. Alright, so let's find Kuto and he is not here. Hmm. That is weird. The quest marker is here. Um, I guess one simple solution is to restart the app and hopefully he is here. Let's do that. Alright, they're here now. Alright, talk to them. Cutscene, so I'm just gonna skip this. You guys can see it for yourself. Alright, fast forward. Here we are with this uh, cutscene here. And I guess you can change your characters, but nope, I'm gonna keep mine the same. Another fast forward movement. Alright, so apparently we met this merchant Argo. Yep, uh, this is so it looks like we're we have the freedom now to actually move around. And the menu notifications. Alright, let's check things out, shall we? Let's just get some, I guess, gems in this game. Well, I guess these are the celebration stuff. Collect them all. What else is here? Yeah, celebration stuff. Notices. Partner here to actual more screen like screen name like name. Uh, you can just go here and change it. And bam. All right. So apparently, there you can chat using emotions and emotes and stamps that I collected. All right. So I have some equipment here. Avatar. Okay. Let's see how to equip this. Let's just fast forward here, and I'll just show you how you equip this. All right. So apparently, here in the menu, you can equip things. Um, skill records, like we mentioned before, I don't really have anything, so... Alright, so there's that avatar tab here. Um, I'm gonna try to equip it on. Let's see, it should be, yes, armor, and I wanna wear my fancy smancy uh, coat. Uh, this looks like you can accept quests here. Um, there's none right now, probably unlock later. Uh, any shops? They don't look open. There's no words above their heads. I guess that will be later. All right, I'm just gonna pull. Let's see what I get. I'll just fast forward here to the end result. This is the highest. Uh, that's that's okay. Um, let's just go on with this and see what else I can do. Oh, limit break. Guess that levels up the skill, I assume, when you get multiple copies of the same skill. Alright, so right now I'm just gonna do like while the game have some gameplay in the background, this is gonna be voiceover review or my impressions of what I have been introduced so far. So let's start with the story. I love that the part that I'm part of the integral get an integral factor of the story and my actions so Right now it hasn't happened so far, but of what I heard, um, action actually changes the story, and um, I'm excited to see what happens. Um, next is, let's see, the characters, the customization of my own character. I'm glad I actually am in this, and I can actually change, like, I mean, I wish I can change more parts of my body, uh, but so far these options are pretty good. Uh, I, get, I get to pick my I got my hairstyle in there and the the skills you can actually get and you can customize based on what you want to do and I don't have to be stuck with a sword. 3D graphics is not bad. I, I usually play games of a low on the lower end, so this is pretty much like pretty good upgrade. The art for the the characters on here is pretty good, especially during the cutscenes. So that's nice. 
camera is kind of annoying to switching back like up and down left and right um, the controls are pretty fluid like with attacks and everything um, other than that nothing much to say about it I need to dive more deeper into this before I say much more um, as for the I've been researching that I'm supposed to probably you can re-roll uh, I'm not gonna re-roll I'm just gonna go over what I have and see how that goes I do do different ones there is Chain Strike coming out later this week. I do want to take and try that game out. And then I think next month, Dragon Ball Legends. Uh, I will try to stream, stream gameplay of this game as I venture to do this. I have a link in the description. Check it out. I try to stream Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links as well. And with that, later days.